On some nights like this, hey, that's my jam. Hey, what's up? It's Kehlani, and I'm gonna play a game of song association with Elle. I'll be given a word, and I have 10 seconds to either sing or rap that word in the song. But before that, check out my brand new album out everywhere now called Blue Water Road. <laughs> Try. Ooh, if at first you don't succeed. Brush yourself off and try again. Or is it dust yourself off? Brush yourself off, dust, brush, dust, interchangeable. I think she says both. <laughs> night. Oh, on some nights like this, hey, that's my jam. They go up at the concerts, woo. That's Nights Like This. It's my song featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Came out like a couple years ago. It's a banger. An amazing young man named Elliot Trent wrote the song and brought it to me and it was cool because he was like, I don't really know if you want to change the words. I was like, I'm going to sing it exactly how you wrote it. Um, and it was great. I got to put my little sauce on it, and Ty got on it, and it was perfect. Hot. Hot. So hot in. So hot in her. Then I'm in, the, in, the, in my head, the beat dropped. So hope y'all heard it. <laughs> Question. Oh, I got a question for you. You already know the answer. Yep. Where J. Blige? Woo! Yep, I had to sing the rest of it. <laughs> busy. What the hell? What song has busy in it? <laughs> Why am I singing Get Me Body by Beyonce, but she don't say busy body in that song at any point, does it? In one of those like little fast sentences that she does. I have no idea. Blue. Oh, oh, um, light blue, lights in your white room, and you fine too. That's my song. I just dropped that little story. Boom. That song is about kind of like asking for someone to give you a second chance, even though you know you probably weren't the best, but you loved them to death, so. City. I feel like all Drake songs say the word city in them. So. <laughs> He says it in Poetic Justice. In the city where you come from. See, I can't rap the rest of y'all, but I know it's in there. Part. Oh, and you're the best part. Come on, Daniel Caesar and her. Let's get it, that's a, that's a jam, super jam. Picture. I could say plural forms, I could say that. Oh, I pose in, um, um take pictures and send them to people that I don't know. Okay, that's me and Zed, good thing. I love Zed, Zed is a great person. He reached out and wanted to get in the studio and again had a song that, you know, he thought I would sound cool on and I, I took a stab at it and we actually like did it multiple times until we got it perfect and then we shot a fun ass, cool ass video and it was epic, pretty. Pretty, pretty, please. <laughs> like your last thing. Come on, Pink. Auntie Pink. <laughs> Act. Dang, I have a song line in my head and I don't know the second half of it. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you uh... have one. <laughs> I'm act a fool with it. Uh, 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 uh. That's my song from like five years ago. I almost forgot that song existed just now. That was wild. I think all type of people listen to my music, but if I was to describe like my core fan base, I think that it is a lot of young people that have had either just like hard times or like things that they're, you know, healing from or trying to work through that are trying to actually be in the process of going through it. You know, I, I think they don't necessarily listen to my music to like sit in it. They listen to my music to find some type of inspiration to move through whatever they're going through or to give them just some light while they're going through whatever they're going through. I think my fan base is super fun. I don't think they're like too intense or like too crazy or like, like they're really chill. Like when crazy stuff is happening online, they'll just be like, whatever, we're chilling. Like, we know we know it's rough out here. Like, the internet's gonna internet. Like, we're just happy to be here. And I think I'm really grateful for that because, 
you know, we're not in any crazy wars all the time. We're just we're just chilling together as a unit. Forgive. Uh, oh, to always forgive me, duh. I had to just remember if I said forget or forgive. Gangsta, Harley Quinn becomes Harley Quinn. And they wanted a, a song that just fit the part. And Skylar Gray wrote it. She's amazing. And they had me cut it. And I just remember being at the premiere watching the movie like, holy shit, that's my voice. Like, it was, it was surreal. So I'm always grateful for that. Club. Meet me in a club. It's going down. Yeah, come on. Number. So give me your number and I'll call and I'll follow that. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. Bam. I was trying to do the clean version for y'all. So y'all welcome. <laughs> Pretty solid. Pretty solid. I thought I was going to epically fail. Truly. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me play Song Association with Elle. Don't forget to check out my new album, Blue Water Road, everywhere now. And subscribe to Elle for more videos just like this.